Are you typing in there? Yeah. No, I Industry. just said that you get your put your heart and soul was... right put your heart and soul right into your job and you you'll be a success at it. Uh, getting back to this this here, I've got this negative all in position now. And it's just a matter of opaking out the uh, the spots that were in here and it's ready for plating up. Is there an apprentice type program here at this printing company? Or do uh, you know of any around the city? Besides Diamond? Besides, well Diamond is actually a school for printing. Uh, apprenticeship programs, we've taken in a couple of guys here and we've more or less taught them ourselves. And we take it from there. And Usually, we, the people that we do get here, they usually stay. They're, they like it. It's a, what is it about this that you like so much? What's the appealing factor? I don't know. Don't I know. just you like just it. You just like it, huh? <laughs> it's just something that... Uh, actually, it's the only job I've ever done. I haven't gone out searching for anything else because I do love this work. And you find the, the conditions here pleasant? Yes, they are very pleasant. Uh, I do most of the four-color work here. And, That's about all I can say on that. I mean, I just like my job. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. Do you work with many other people, or you know, are you involved with other people here, or is this pretty much a thing you sit off and do by yourself? Well, we take in different jobs, and if there is a problem with a job and they want technical advice, we'll give the customer some technical advice on what to do and what we can do to we're out to please the customer is what we're out to do. If we don't please the customer, we're out of a job. So. Okay. Okay, Mary. Sure. Alright, you want me to pick up from... Okay, this was the negative you saw our strip is stripping off on a fly out of light table. You have the negative in the last and cable. Well, now, drop it in on a plate. It'll be exposed. 32 seconds. He's dropping the negative right on the plate, so it'll be in position when the pressman puts it on, the, on his press. The light is a mercury vapor light. When exposed, at a, the normal exposure will burn right through the negative. Onto the plate. The black area on the negative will not, will not show up on the plate. Just the white area of the negative is very high. This plate has been pre synthesized with a chemical and it will only pick up the exposure through the white part of the negative. <laughs> This plate, after the biggest pole, will go into our plate processing. Here the operator takes the plate. Wait, okay. process that which in, which in turn will develop and it will gum the plate all in one operation so that at the end the plate will be dried off with a, a heating unit which is on the end which will dry off the gum so that when it comes out it can take the cake and put right on the plate. The gum that we apply to this plate cannot be taken off with anything except water. You can throw gas, oil, kerosene, anything on it, and it will not penetrate through this gum. And uh, I was running a hand press when I came here, and I worked my way up here to stripping and opaquing when I first started out. And I went into stripping, and I finally, and I've been supervisor about seven years. Does it make you feel good when you see one of your uh, things printed around? Well, it makes you feel good when they come out right. <laughs> this is the thing, you know, sometimes things 
go right or they go wrong. It all depends. You know, sometimes a stripper makes a mistake and you try to pick it up before the final printing. And if you pick it up, fine, you have a good job coming out. But if you don't pick it up, then you find yourself doing something over, which we have a, our mistakes are minimized here. We have very few, but that takes up where you have good strippers, and which I do have here. All of my men do their job properly, and I have no worries about anything that I give them. Okay, thanks okay? a lot. Thank you. Okay. Well, how long have you been working at this job? I've been here for 14 years. 14 years? How did you find the job in the first place? Uh, I got it through a friend. Your friend? Um, if someone was looking for a job at a printing company, how would you suggest to them to go about finding it? Looking in the newspaper? Or... No, I think I would uh, suggest them to come over here first. You don't necessarily need experience to apply for a job like this? With this kind of a press, yeah. Yeah, a lot of experience? Yeah. Well, how would someone go about getting that experience? Uh, well, you'd have to start out right from the bottom. You'd have to go over the letterpress and then eventually work up, you know, go across there and then follow the aisle right up. Mm -hmm. um, do you, would you like to work on a larger press eventually? Yes, eventually. Does it get tiring being on your feet all day and uh, hot building? And all? Yes and no, you know, it depends. Do you like your work though? Yeah, I enjoy it, I really do. Do you, like the, do you want to go ahead and print one and we'll get a shot of that? Do you operate the four-color press? Yes, I do. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, what, you mean overall? Yeah. Well, I've been in the business 27 years. At this company? No, 20 years with this company. So you must like it pretty well, right? Yep. Well, how did you get interested in printing in the first place? I took it up in school. Which school did you go to? I went to Morton and I took in Jersey. How would you suggest to someone to apply for a job here? Should they just come right directly to this company? or Do they, do they no, need to have I, special I, training? Well, I think any, every office freshman, I think he should be a letter freshman first. Can you explain the difference between offset and regular letter press? Oh. Well, why pretty, is it called pretty... offset? Why don't, I, why don't you explain why it's called offset? Well, you're offsetting a, an image on from a plate to a blanket to a sheet. Right? So you the know. image goes on the sheet. Yeah, it goes on a rubber blanket. blanket whereas in letter press you're taking the image from a piece of type. You see? This is on just on plain plate, and that's from a type. Why isn't it printed directly onto the sheet from the plate? It can't be. Why? I guess it can, I'm sorry. In some instances it does. Because we have two uh, we, when we perfect we print on two sides, sometimes it's printing directly from from plate to sheet. Instead of from plate to blanket to sheet. See? Um, can you run something for us and show us how it, how it goes through this machine? Yeah. All right. I cut, all right, let me talk. I've cut, the, I've cut that yellow down a little, Billy. Uh, he wants more blue on that outside. All right. Do you, just, do you mix colors yourself, or are they mixed pre-mixed for you? Uh, all these colors, offset colors. Are you? OK. All right, now you can tell us. The four colors are all is the three primary colors in the spectrum. Red, yellow, and blue. And of course, black for detail. And that's your four colors. So you always use these same standard colors. You don't have to mix them at all. No. Sometimes we have five colors. And Why do you we, have the extra color? Well, sometimes a customer wants a color, five colors, without screening it out from four color. Actually, you can get any color from screening out. You know, from the combination of four colors, three colors, 
plus black, you can get anything you want, any color you want. It's all done with the negatives and screens. Right? What, um, what is it about printing that you enjoy so much? I like to print it. It's a sense of accomplishment, I think. You like seeing pieces you worked on yeah. around the city? Sometimes they're discouraged, and lots of times they're rewarding. All right, now I've gone up here. What happens when your machinery breaks down? We um, have to call in someone from Boston or New York to repair it. Uh, oh, you don't employ your own mechanic? We do on minor breakdowns. Uh, we can repair them ourselves, which we do, but on anything major, um, on, for instance, in this uh, case, we'd have to get someone from Heidelberg from uh, either New York or sometimes right from Germany. Really? Yeah. Did this machine come from Germany or New York? It was built originally in Germany, and it uh, came over and was in the Midwest for a while, and we bought it uh, last year from the uh, Midwest. Is this a standard press for four color, or there are lots of different types? There are three or four different types, uh, this being what we consider one of the better ones. We do have two of them, and uh, we consider this one much better than the other one which we have. Why is that? Well, it's uh, frankly built better. <laughs> heavier, it, uh, it has better production capabilities, it's just uh, what we consider better built press. We we uh, being the only people in this area that have a four color press, obviously we had to train these people ourselves. So. These people that you see on these larger presses at one time or other were on the smaller presses, which you saw earlier. And as I said, as we put in larger equipment, we just keep upgrading the men to get on these new presses. Obviously, it takes a great deal of training for them to be able to operate a press such as this. What kind of benefits do these men receive from this job? Well, Hopefully, uh, we like to think they get a great deal of enjoyment and satisfaction out of the... Uh, not only uh, is visually good, but it shows... Uh, you're yeah. out, she's well, not. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep... She doesn't know when I'm talking, and I don't know when she's shooting oh. unless I watch I think if you could get Philly, hold on a second. Hold one minute, so We're going to shoot that, Mary. <laughs> Let him photograph that. Okay. You had a man once who had his hand in there when it came down. Well, I thought you had to have two hands to operate. You see, yeah, you do. See these lights? But this one had a malfunction on it. Oh, jeez. Lost all his fingers. It's awful. It's not on, is it? Oh, yes. <laughs> we won't put that in. Uh, no. <laughs> you told me it was off. No. Well, it was, it was off a minute ago. We did. <laughs> I won't put that in the tape. Don't worry. This is a, uh, a Polar cutter again, which is made in Germany. And uh, it has a magnetic tape in the back of it, and we can feed information into this cutter, and then it will cut automatically by itself. It's a magnetic tape similar to what uh, we're uh, doing this audio on. And we can feed information into this tape and then have it play back, and this cutter will cut by itself. What do you do with the waste cuttings? We. Uh, either sell it or have someone take it away. Is uh, it recyclable? 
most of it, uh, all of it is recyclable, yes. And uh, depends on the market whether we can sell it or whether they just take it away. But it is used for, again, to recycle paper. Down there. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Mary. Can you erase? Yeah. Mary, stop shooting, Mary. Have much turnover in employees? No, very little. Uh, actually, the employees we lose might be the boys that have been here a month or two and either they're not suited for the work or they don't like it. But once someone's been here three or four months, six months, we very, very rarely have them leave us. They get interested in the job or we'll find something that they're interested in. been working here? Two years. Two years? Do you enjoy your job? Yes. How did you get this job? Um. Did you see it advertised somewhere or did you just come here and apply for the yeah. Did you have friends working here that you found out about the job from or just decided you wanted to work at a printer? My mother works here. Where is your mother? She's on vacation. Have you done this same job for the past two years? Uh, yeah. No, different things. Like what else? Collating, uh, stitching, nothing. Do you ever want to work on a press? No. Why not? Um, <laughs> too big, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That's neat there. How long have you been working here? Well, I'm, uh, I've been retired. I just came back part time. Oh. I worked here 15 years. Why did you decide to come back? Has staying home. <laughs> you enjoy this work? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Have you done this all, you know, all of your time employed here? Well, I've done it for 15 years. I mean, I worked other places, but I've been here 15. Did you work at other printing companies or? No, there's printing companies. Where else did you work? I worked at Hoffman Lion Mills before they they sold out, so I came here after. What did you do at the mill? Uh, made jump ropes and uh, little uh, hanks, the clotheslines, the little girls, you know, with the pins on. Yeah, it's a nice job. What is it about your job that you like? Everything. Yeah, I really like it. Are you on your feet all day? 
No, no, we, uh, half the day we sit down and half standing up. Do you object to the noise in here? No, no. Just Get used to it? to it? Yeah. Do any women here ever work on presses? No, no. Why? I don't know. <laughs>